So the third topic in hemolytic anemia is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. First, you need to know this pathway. Peroxide is dangerous to the body. So peroxide has to be converted into H2O, which is water. You need for this conversion, you need first glutathione. And how you supply the body with the glutathione by GSSG, which is oxidized glutathione. Okay. Usually the body have reduced form of glutathione. This is a reduced form of the glutathione, which is already in the body. So you need for this, you need a material read something to convert reduced form of glutathione into oxidized form. By the way, this is the first player in conversion of peroxide into H2O. So you need another player, which is NADPH. And how you will get NADPH is you will get it from NADP. And the enzyme responsible for this, there is an enzyme responsible for this conversion called glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Okay. So again, there are three players for this. Usually the player one is glu glutathione, which is basically the reduced form of glutathione that you need. The second player is NADPH, and you need for this NADPH, how you supply the body for NADPH by the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Right? Then, imagine with me you have problems with the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. That means decrease the glucose 6-phosphate. Now you will have decreased NADPH and you will have decreased oxidized form of glutathione, which is the third player. As a result of this, so peroxide, peroxide will become more and more. Usually peroxide is dangerous to the body, so it will damage or, or oxidize what? Usually oxidizes the hemoglobin. So oxidized hemoglobin called Heinz body. Okay, usually Heinz body is, is a kind of intra a nuclear intracellular inclusion is body inside the red blood cells. So this is red blood cells and around the red blood cells in the periphery there is an inclusion bodies. Usually these bodies are full of hemoglobin. So there is a macrophages. Here is a macrophages. So here macrophage and here red blood cells. So the macrophage will just go and eat, will just go and eat hemoglobin as a result. The end result will be, the end result for this process will be what? Will be this type of cells. Look at the cells, we call the cells bite cells, okay? So usually red blood cells with, with Heinz body which oxidize hemoglobin, Macrophages loves hemoglobin, so just eat the hemoglobin, and the end result will, bi will be bite cells, which are characteristic cells in case of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. Okay, this is first. Second thing, Heinz body, usually it is usually the red blood cells with Heinz body abnormal red blood cells, so the end result will be intravascular hemolysis. Okay? Intravascular hemolysis. So you'll see a patient with dark color urine, dark urine, and hemoglobin, hemoglobinuria, okay? This that we talked in, I think, video in 18. And how about the reticulocyte count? Reticulocyte count will be high in this patient because if it is, it is a hemolytic process. What other things that are important in uh, glucose 6-phosphate deficiency? Keep in your mind, this is X-linked recessive, this is X-linked disorder, recessive disorder. That's mean, mm, Okay, that's mean males, usually males affected. So the males, the males affected. Okay, and the females are carriers. Okay, recessive. So what else for this? You need to know also the other name of this disease. We call this hereditary erythrocyte enzyme deficiency. You, you may not see glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase in the stem, you will see the other name, which is hereditary. Okay, uh, erythrocyte enzyme deficiency. Okay, you will you will not get the name of the enzyme, but enzyme deficiency means glucose six phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. Okay, so these are the principles and these are the clinical features for glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogen deficiency. Another two things you need to know you need to know what are the stressful conditions, what are the oxidants. 
stresses okay or stressors that are responsible for decrement in glucose deficiency usually basically three things in case of a drugs usually which is the most important one patient 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 come to travel to africa or to send uh, or to certain area in the world and asking to have malaria prophylaxis so you proscribe for the patient by McQueen and then after a few days the patient come with dark color urine, hemoglobinuria, hemocytrinuria, pale and decreased reticulocyte count so this is glucose 6 phosphate deficiency. Another drug is sulfa drug. Okay there are a lot a lot of drugs responsible for this. How about another cause which is fava beans is your important cause in Middle Eastern people and Greeks and another uh, precipitating factor is any kind of infection usually is responsible for glucose 6 phosphate deficiency. Usually this is an acute process, so you will not, uh, you will not see hepatosplenomegaly in this patient on physical examinations. And during the process, during the process, this, this decrement in glucose 6 phosphate is used as a confirmatory test, but keep in mind this will be normal during hemolytic process okay so if patients have hemolysis today and then you will measure the glucose 6-phosphate you will see glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase normal but after but after weeks it will decrease so this is used as a confirmatory test okay so after weeks usually decrease. This is red blood cells, we call this red blood cells enzyme analysis for the glucose 6-phosphate, usually this is confirmatory. So again, in the lab test, you can see in the lab test first by blood film, by cells, by crystal or by special kind of stain, which is crystal stain, Heinz body, you will see also decreased hemoglobin, hemoglobin ureticulocyte count in the blood, and in blood test, Finally, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, you will not see uh, deficient glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase as an enzyme. You will see decrease in this enzyme weeks after the hemolytic process. Okay.